you guys happen to see Dana? Dude, if they're not home, you are notorious for this. Huh? I right? What else can you do? Now it's starting to get chilly. A little weird. Ah. Oh, hi. 3.34, we got her to answer I things. did, a while ago. Yeah, come in. Alright, there's a bell here. Oh, no, you're not. You're not. You're not. Just so you're aware, ma'am, I'm wearing a body camera, so everything's being recorded. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, well, um, he's called my parents' house several times. Okay. I have do have a protective order. He called my work last Saturday. Such a little... No. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're here. So. Um, he called my work last Saturday. I don't know what time. I was just informed of it that he called my work and tried to get me fired. Okay. Who did he talk to you? Assistant Manager Tony. What did he do? Uh, he tried to say that I was smoking dope out in the parking lot or something. What's, I, your, what's your work, though? I'm sorry? Where do you work at? At Walmart over at uh, Shadle. Um, uh, Wellesley, over there, West Wellesley. And then uh, a couple days after that, he called my parents' house. And my dad asked him if I was going to get it. I was going to so, I said that he wanted to leave a message and I got on that he wanted to leave a message. So apparently he had left three messages and just pleading to try to get me back, you know, to come back to him. The uh, messages that were on the cell phone? Um, no, it's on my parents' house phone, but my dad, I had my dad erased them because I just didn't want to use them. Okay. So your dad heard these messages? Yes. Uh, so let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. So you say he called you at work. When was that? Well, he had called my work. I wasn't even working. It was last Saturday. It would have been the 22nd. 22nd? Yeah. When was the order Um, on The day before Thanksgiving. So the 26th. Okay. So they came that. here and removed him from my house. Okay. So this part, he hasn't been served yet. This part, right? The 22nd? When he tried to get his he, fired? He should have been. Because they removed him. They came here and... It was served on the 26th. Yeah. Okay, but he said the 22nd you called your work? Oh, it's the 22nd. What's the date? It's the 7th. The last Saturday would have been... Or the 28th. Uh, 29th, I'm sorry. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, 29th. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, so the other day, so. And who did she talk to? Um, Leanne in personnel, I believe. Because it was the 20th of the day. She talked to the assistant manager. Yes. You know what's funny about me? I don't. 
he's an assistant manager. I don't know any of their last names. Tony, the people that talked to her. Talked to my ex husband, yes. Okay. And okay. what time that was that? I don't know if he didn't tell me the time. He was going to write out a statement though to me. I have a hearing on Monday. He was going to go to tomorrow at 1 30. So after that, what happened? Um, then, I don't know if he had called Monday or Tuesday, he called and left three messages that my friend called. So, okay. we're talking about uh, this Monday, Yes. Or this last week? This week. last, yes. Mm -hmm. So, that would be the, uh, the first or the second, somewhere around that kind of time. Um, and one or the other? Both I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure. And then I was driving home. I was coming down Garland. It's one of these Walmart. I came down Garland. I crossed from Garland to Empire Health and Division, and I swear I see him standing on the corner right in front of Walgreens. I didn't really look at him because I was like, let it go. I don't know who that is. I just didn't want to even see that with him, but I think it was him. What day was that? Just today. Just when I was getting off work, I was coming home. And I kind of looked over, and I'm like, he kept driving. I <laughs> just didn't even want to Why do you think it was him? Because he was going like this, like, Dina, come on. You know, like, kind of a gesture. I don't know face? that, for, yeah, it kind of looked like him, but I, I just wanted to put it out of my mind because I, I, I'm not sure if it was him. Um, yeah, what and time then, was that? well, it was just before 4 o'clock because my dad said he called at 4 05. And I left work at, I punched out at uh, 3 52. And it takes two minutes to my car. It's kind of old. So, so he called your parents again today? Yeah. Did he talk to your dad? No. Uh, he just left a message. Another message. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that message is still intact or what? I'm not sure my dad might have heard this. I'm not really sure if to call him. Yeah, I'm not really sure. What's your dad's name? Robert Austin. O T C O S E N. Yes, exactly. And what's his name? Uh, first. First? And what's his name? Uh, it's 6-12-13. 15-13-12. I lost his high school here on the office of Dr. Holland. Okay. All right, so... So you saw your phone at 1600, then what happened? Uh, I just came home to my, my own business. So he never physically called you? No. He doesn't know I have a cell phone. <laughs> I don't want him calling me. Okay. Has he ever showed up here? Uh, only, the only time he did was the day after Thanksgiving at 5.30 in the morning, he was on my back door. Okay, knocking on the door. Did you and um, I did contract. He apparently had separated my, my gate from my fence and got in that way. Okay. And then five hours later, like at 10.20, he came and knocked at the front door. And I didn't say anything to him because I'm not supposed to. Um, after he had started walking down the street, I kind of peeked out and I saw the neighbor across the street and I asked him if he just called him because at that time I didn't have a cell phone. So I asked him to call 911 and he said he didn't have a phone and he went back in the house. Who responded here? Huh? Who responded here? Um, no, not actually. They came to my parents' house because at that time I was trying to get up to my parents' house. Okay, so I went up there, a police officer, she came to my parents' house and I gave her, told her what was happening. So you reported so, that? Yeah, so she came down here and checked everything out and wasn't here anymore after that. Um, the next uh, Friday night, I called because I swear somebody was rustling around in my garbage. Because I could hear it like right outside the window, at least I thought. So I called on that one, just trying to check. Uh, or was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, and they came and looked, it was nothing. Uh, that was going on, so it must have been the neighbors. Um, not sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so when's your court date? Uh, tomorrow at 1.30. 1.30, okay. Any Which I'm time? going to, I'm leaving work early to go to that. So. Okay. Any other time he's contacting you? No. And you haven't contacted him at all? No. I, I didn't even know you guys were going to come out. I just thought, you know, I just make a report of it. What's his name? Anthony Alpert. A-L-T-O-D-U-S. So anyway, A -L -T -O -D -U -S. A -L -T -O -D -U -S. What's his name? No. 14-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2
As far as I know, he's homeless. Okay. I don't know. Do you have any friends or anything like that? Oh, he's got a lot of friends. Well, Doesn't he, he used to have a lot of friends. He doesn't have many friends now, but... Does he couch surf? Uh, what? Couch surf? Yeah, I, I think so. Does I he have a Um, He does. I don't know if it's up and running, but it's 509 294 7605 and it comes under Denise Mills. Denise Mills. Yeah. Well, here's, here's where we're at. Um, obviously, a report can be done. The problem I have, if you had those messages, that would have been good. I know. Okay. But at this point, we just got one person saying it. Yes. Oh, so, I understand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a report on everything that is documented here. You have a uh, court case tomorrow, right? Yes. Uh, work with the train tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would I would suggest to tell her about the incident okay. and say, hey, this is before I'll give you a case over here in a minute. Um, and let her fully aware of it. And uh, I don't actually have an attorney. I don't know. I just go down there and I have a hearing at 1.30, so I don't know. Oh, you're not working with the train? No. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, so I'm trying to think of what the best way to contact him is. Because I, I'll need to talk to him and see what. What his side did is if he admits to it, I'll let him admit to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said, all that was me. Oh, no, I understand. So, um, I'm keeping a log of everything, and another officer will talk to me at my house um, when that happened. And so he said, keep a log of his date, everything, and so which I have been doing. You might do me a favor, call mm -hmm. your dad, see if he has enough to send it. Okay. And if it's a race, then not a big deal. If he has it, tell him to save it. Okay. And uh, we'll try to get that recorded. Uh, is there a third party clause in your, in your, uh, DVOC, your assessment? Uh, which means, can he contact your parents? Because it's not against your parents, right? No. I, I didn't know what exactly, see, I'm new to this, I've never had this happen before. What was the, was what was the message he left for your parents? Um, he just wanted to know if he could leave me a message. Because my parents don't want to talk to him. Okay. You know, and... Uh, how do we know... He's the one who called your work. All I can say is I, I, my work knows all about my history with my ex-husband. That's all I can say. Okay. So Tony would be able to uh, identify him by name, say, hey, is this Anthony? Why are you calling this type thing? Or um, how did that come about? I'm not really sure. He just, I think he might have called in and said something about can I speak to a, an assistant manager. I'm not really sure how he okay. did. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, see, so we got to be able to put the connection between yeah. that call and him being the one that made the call. Right. Um, as far as him calling your parents, y your parents aren't listed in the order. Yeah. So he can call your parents yeah. all day long, mm -hmm. um, and he's not technically leaving you a message. He's asking them a question. Yeah. Can he leave? And obviously, if your parents don't mm -hmm. want to. So that isn't a violation of the order. I, I just don't. Is that what so. Um, yeah, he wanted to leave me a message, okay, but which I won't listen to. So, okay, so uh, probably don't, nothing you could do about it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about calling your parents. Okay. I just, I'm sorry, I don't understand how all of this works. I've never well, you have a hearing before. tomorrow, and that's yeah. what it says, a show cause hearing, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's the time where you're going to sit in front of either a commissioner or a judge and they're going to review all your petition and all your facts and they're going to determine whether or not they believe that there's sufficient evidence to give you a full-time order right. or not. Okay. Um, and then you'll go from there. So you're just going to have to explain to him what's been going on. We'll give you a card with your case okay. number on it saying, you know, this is the stuff that's been happening. I reported it to the police. Here's my case number. And the judge will either make his decision for or against the order, and then you'll go from there. So it unfortunately is anything that we can do for right, you. Yeah. It's all going to be you and whatever the judge decides tomorrow. So. Okay. So there's case number okay. two. Um, I guess every couple
basically it's identical to the one you put on him. So, yeah, your court date for that one is December 15th at 1.30. All the information's here. It's kind of a weird case. We're going to pronounce our but everything's there. Just okay. Similar to yours. So, okay. Uh, that's your paperwork. Go through it. Uh, if you have any questions, contact the court about it. Um, okay. But uh, same rule applies. You can yes. contact him. Right. I, I have no intention of talking to him at all. So. And he doesn't work if he's homeless. He he's, yeah. He's on disability. Oh, gotcha. Mental disability, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. <laughs> well, if he, if he hasn't show up, again, you know, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, and if you think someone is outside your house, mm -hmm. 911 is appropriate, not crime check. Okay. Okay, because that would be what I would consider an emergency. Okay. okay if, I think I had called 911. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, especially with the situation if he's here. Then mm -hmm. he's if all else fails and you have any question on which one you call, 911. Okay. Every time. And typically, I have to know you're a two-block radius, so if you see him, Okay. You know, he's got to be within a two-block radius of you and your place of business. Okay. Um, Because, I mean, I was arrested for domestic violence on August 18th. Actually. Right. So, obviously, that's why he's doing this. Because he said he was going to do this, so I expected it. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? No. All right. Um, yeah. If you need anything else, just keep okay. going. All right. All right. Well, All right. thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Lock up tight. <laughs>